welcome to let's get into it. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. I saw Nasi doing this, man, and I was jealous. One point. So then I had to get a piece of the action, get some engagement, talk about what people don't want to talk about. So what's on my mind? I feel like um, uh, the hip hop culture in South Africa is a bit on the soft side. Not in terms of people are sensitive. Well, yeah, guys are a bit sensitive, in my opinion, when it comes to challenging each other uh, lyrically, you know, compared to what happens in the States, which most of us are, most of us are influenced by that culture. But, you know, there's a lot of digs at each other here and there. People who see themselves as being superior will throw little pokes and jabs as people who they also respect most of the time actually and there'll always be that back and forth but in South Africa it, I get the sense that guys take it so personally when an MC you know challenges their lyrical prowess on wax which I don't think has to be the case you know it doesn't be, it doesn't have to be beef when somebody says your bars are wax fam you know it's as a person, you, I'm sure you're, you can be a great guy, you can hang out. I will challenge Nasi all the time. Uh, we, I mean, there's, there's, there's even songs where we subliminally poke at each other. That's, it's almost a sign of respect to say, listen, I see you, but I need you to see me. Can you, can you do this type thing? The sense that I get is that people don't want to broach that uh, subject or it becomes too blown over to the point where like the AK and Casper thing got way too hectic. I know uh, Big Zulu did a beef thing. That was actually done in the right spirit, I think. Um, I think it was, it's one of the few instances where guys took it for what it was. And I think we need a lot more of that, man, because that's what we grew up on is ciphers and battles and I'm the best type thing, you know. But now it's like you do that, it's um, blasphemous almost. Like, come on. You know, show what you got, let's rap. I, su I suppose the other argument is that, you know, guys who are lesser known will poke at the bigger guys in an effort to get recognition and by those guys responding, that's them giving them clout. So there's that argument to consider as well, which I think is valid. At the same time, Eminem responded to everybody and buried them and careers ended. I suppose if you care about what the spirit of the emceeing culture is, you will always answer or retort whenever a challenge is put before you. Let me know what y'all think. Do you think there's enough going back and forth and poking? Do you think the industry here is not ready or not developed to that level where guys can have a healthy, outspoken competition on wax? What do y'all think?